does ketamine work? This is a two-part video. Part one, the biological mechanism of action. Ketamine most likely works not just by changing chemicals in the brain, but that's what we're going to focus on on this video. We have some pretty good ideas about the biological effects of ketamine, but unfortunately, we don't know if these theories on the mechanism of action are correct or fully explain all the benefits seen from ketamine therapy. But that's true for many treatments in medicine. We have medications for all kinds of conditions, including depression, that have been shown to work, but not so clear exactly how they work. So there are two important things to understand about how the brain functions and reacts to stress. You may have heard the term neurotransmitters. The most common ones many people know are serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. And these are chemicals the body makes that allows one neuron or nerve cell in the brain to communicate with another. These neurotransmitters are messengers sent from one neuron to another, and they attach to a receptor on the other neuron telling it to do something. These receptors are like locks, and the neurotransmitters are like the key. A lesser known neurotransmitter is called glutamate, which oddly enough is one of the most common neurotransmitters in the brain. And it plays a very important role in mood, anxiety, memory, learning, and a host of other functions. No antidepressants on the market today specifically target glutamate, but many pharmaceutical companies are trying to develop medicines that affect glutamate. The exception is the recently approved intranasal antidepressant Spravato, or S-ketamine, which is the topic of a whole nother video. Ketamine works on glutamate through a receptor or lock called the NMDA receptor. Another important thing to understand about how the brain works is that healthy brain activity, including making new neurons and new connections between neurons, is through chemicals called neurotrophic factors. These are critical for good brain function. And there are a lot of neurotrophic factors in the brain, and they have long, complicated names, but the most common one is called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. Think of BDNF like brain food or brain fertilizer. Stress, depression, anxiety, chronic pain, lack of physical or mental activity will cause the brain to make less of these neurotrophic factors. Exercise, eating healthy, learning new things, and even antidepressants will increase these neurotrophic factors. This makes the brain more vibrant and allows for improved mood, improved thinking, memory, and motivation. Ketamine has been shown to increase these neurotrophic factors. This may be another reason why it treats depression. If you're science-minded, you could explore the growing body of research that shows all kinds of other effects ketamine has on the brain. But again, remember, these are all just theories for now. And also remember that though ketamine has been around for 40 years, and has been shown to be safe and effective medicine as an anesthetic agent. And there's a lot of good science to show that it works for depression. It's not officially FDA approved for that. Check out our other videos about ketamine, spravato, and other treatments for mood and anxiety issues.